Okay, so it's time for another werewolf movie. This time, The Howling. It being released March 13th, 1981, it being based on the book of the same name, loosely, but anyway, the movie stars Dee Walsh, who plays Karen White, as her and her husband go on vacation, which just so happens to be a town of werewolves. And sadly, I had not had the chance to read the novel yet. I do want to, just I haven't had the time yet. But I have seen The Howling 4, and I also do know some of the differences that I picked up. So, uh, anyway, let's get into the movie. Anyway, the movie begins with static, as there's a doctor saying you should never deny the beast inside, as Karen is a reporter who has a stalker, as she's gonna have to meet up with him. And yeah, I do know some things about the book, and yeah, I definitely know things aren't gonna end well with that. Oof. But anyway, she's to meet with the man in a porno store. But anyway, the man plays a tape of his past a victim, but lucky for her, he's shot. And it could have been far worse, because in the book, he... Yeah, next scene. But anyway, this still fucks her up, as she really doesn't remember what happened. Which, truthfully, is probably best. As this gives her PTSD, as... Some reporters go to see a bunch of pictures of werewolves in Eddie's apartment. Which means that he was likely a werewolf. So, you're just lucky that he didn't bite you, Karen. Anyway, she goes on the air, but she's still having PTSD. Which does make sense. The dude was choking her. As she goes to therapy, but she's gonna need vacation, so the doc sends to his house in the woods. Because, of course, he would do that for any of his clients. Anyway, they go to a party where an old man can't go on anymore. Which is understandable. He is a werewolf. But, uh, yeah, shooting yourself in the head with a silver bullet might be a little less painful than burning yourself alive. Anyway, that night, she hears a howling. Which is something I do like. They keep what the howling is a mystery until the end. Of course, now everybody knows the movie is a werewolf movie, so... Yeah, it doesn't work as well. But because of that, she can't sleep, so she goes outside as a man. Watching her. And lucky for us, the camera isn't pointed a little down, because... Yeah, if it was... Yeah... Then we'd be seeing him playing with himself, and I don't think anybody wants to see that. Anyway, she meets the sheriff, but he just says there's lots of coyotes out there. But these two find a dead bull as her husband learns how to shoot so they can find that coyote. Not sure who killed the bull, but now at least she can make some steak. <laughs> anyway, these two go to see Dick Miller, who tells them that the werewolves can change any time they want. But in the book, they can only change at night, but I actually do prefer this change, because this makes them a threat at any point. He says that you can only kill werewolves with silver bullets, but they sadly leave. No, Dick! Please don't leave! You're my favorite actor in this movie! So, anyway, Bill catches a wabbit, and even though he's not the biggest fan of meat, he's still gonna eat it. Because if he didn't eat it, that'd just be wasteful. But I mean, if you were to turn to a lucky rabbit's foot, it could give you luck, at least you'd be wasting most of it, but at least then you might have a somewhat chance of surviving this movie. Anyway, Bill goes to a woman so she can cook the rabbit, but instead of cooking, she tries to make out with him. Yeah, I don't think he wants the rabbit anymore, but me personally, I would take it with me since, you know, I want to eat that rabbit. It looks very tasty. But when he goes outside, Bill is bitten by a wolf, but it does heal up pretty good. But then, he goes out to fuck this bitch. Which is not... completely bad, I mean... He's most likely doing it against his will, because... Yeah, she was the one that turned him. <laughs> oh yeah, that was... Anyway, the next morning, the wound reporter goes in the woods, finding a cabin with a smiling sticker, but it's also a werewolf. 
And she's lucky that axe was put in such a good spot she could easily grab it. Anyway, she's able to cut the werewolf's arm off and get to another building to make a call. Christopher, you're not gonna believe this. Damn, the werewolf didn't even have to cut her off. The goddamn movie did. Anyway, Karen notices that Bill has scratches that weren't there before, so they fight as he ends up slapping her. Which is something he probably wouldn't have done before he's a werewolf. I mean, being a werewolf has its upsides, but yeah, it turns you into an asshole. Anyway, the reporter calls her boyfriend, but is unable to finish. So it would have been a bit better if a werewolf cut her off, because then at least they wouldn't have this weird editing where it goes from the first scene to Karen back to this girl, which it would have been much better if they just had these two scenes as one scene instead of cutting it in two and show her explaining it. I mean, it wouldn't have added anything, but still, it would have been a little bit better because it probably wouldn't have taken that long to explain and they wouldn't have had this weird editing, but oh well. Anyway, the werewolf ends up slowly killing her by choking her. Fella, those are real silver. I gotta check in with a jeweler to find out what the judge. Bill me. But sadly, I'd say. Goodbye, dick. But Karen goes and finds her body and finds out that Eddie is alive. And so, he turns. And originally, Rick Baker was going to do the effects of this movie, but instead he decided to do American Werewolf in London. So instead, Rod Botton did the effects, and it looks still very good. It actually is really good transformation. Of course, it's not as good as American Werewolf, but it's still good. Now she tries to run away, but they put her at gunpoint. Even though I don't think they need it because, you know, they're werewolves and they can turn at any time. But it probably still would be a good idea to have at least one person there be in their werewolf form, just in case. And the professor is also a werewolf, but a kind of good one who doesn't like eating humans and doesn't want to be found out, but he's turned people. Though the man is technically not a bad guy because yeah he only turns people and doesn't normally kill people or at least doesn't like to. He prefers not to eat people which is good but he still is turning people against their will so that's kind of fucked up. Anyway the male reporter finds Eddie who steals his gun. Here. Take it. But unlucky for him, the gun's filled with silver bullets, so... Yeah, that was a bad idea. So anyway, he goes to save Karen by shooting a few werewolves. Including the Doc, who I kinda wish could have lived, since then he could help future werewolves be able to control their hunger. So they lock the werewolves in the barn and start to burn the place, but there's still a few more there that uh, shoot at the car, so they say fuck it and get into the cop car, but the wolves attack and Karen gets bit. <sighs> By Bill, who wanted to give her one last present before he died. Anyway, she goes in the air and talks about the werewolves so that she can turn. <sighs> Which, yeah, can prove it, but, yeah, people are most likely just going to think that it's a fax. Switch! Switch, damn it, switch! Though, her being killed live on TV might get a few people to believe her. Because, yeah, she's dead, and, yeah, somebody definitely did kill her. And I feel bad for the guy who shot her, because, yeah, he's definitely going to jail after that. Anyway, the movie ends with this bitch still alive. How you want it, honey? Rare. Though she isn't in any of the sequels. Huh. I guess technically she's in Howling 4, but that's more of a faithful adaptation of the book. And the Howling 2 doesn't have very much to do with this movie. It does have a few connections, but still. Anyway, though, um, that was the Howling, and it was good. The movie has some good effects, good acting, and some good characters. I like how the werewolves could change at any time, but the werewolves weren't in much of the movie, but 
I did like how for most of the movie, the howling was a mystery, but I would have liked to see more werewolves, but sadly, I don't have much to say about this movie. I just really enjoyed it. I don't have any big problems with the movie. It's just really entertaining. There's a lot of things I like, like the effects, and the characters were also good, and there's lots of things that are good about this movie. But anyway, I'm going to give The Howling a 4 out of 5. But yeah, I'll have way more to say about the sequels than I do this movie. This movie's actually good. The sequels are... Anyway, see you next time.